In our lab, we develop chemical processes that combine reaction and separation in a single step. An example for this is the biphasic biomass conversion to fuels. The pyrolysis of biomass rich in lignin results in a biphasic mixture of oil and water. A common water-soluble pyrolysis product is vanillin. The fuel stability can be improved upon chemical conversion of vanillin. This can be realized by efficiently by locating catalyst particles at the oil-water interface. The conversion of vanillin produces p chrysol a valuable fuel component. What is special about this reaction is that reaction and separation happen in one step. p chrysol is more soluble in the oil phase and is therefore extracted from the droplets. However, the limitation of this process is, once all the vanillin molecules have been converted, the reaction is done and the catalyst particles and water droplets have to be separated from the biofuel. Our research aims to transform biphasic catalysis into a continuous process. This can be achieved when instead of isolated droplets, an uninterrupted channel network of oil and water is employed for the reaction. We call this structure a bicontinuous emulsion because both oil and water are continuous. How to fabricate a bicontinuous emulsion like this one? We do this by a process called phase separation. In our case, the phase separation of oil and water. On the upper right, you see a high-speed video of how we extrude a fiber composed of oil, water, and nanoparticles. The patterns you see in this fiber are the signature of the phase separation and result in the desired bicontinuous emulsion, as you will see next. Confocal laser scanning microscopy allows us to scan through the extruded material and look inside of it. We find a liquid fiber with a bicontinuous oil-water channel network. Green regions are made of oil, blue regions of water. The computer allows us to reconstruct the three-dimensional architecture. The structure tells us that oil molecules should be able to travel on a winding route from the top to the bottom of the fiber. And indeed, we could observe this transport process in our experiment as shown here. An oil-soluble dye travels throughout the fiber and colors all oil channels in green. But also molecules in the surrounding water can penetrate into the fiber and move freely in and out. This openness of the fiber as well as the large surface area between oil and water promises exciting possibilities for mass transfer processes and chemical reactions. What holds the oil-water channels in place is a thin film of nanoparticles. To see this thin film, we use electron microscopy. Magnifying the surface up to 200,000 times shows that the nanoparticles have formed a densely packed crust with tiny holes in between them. This permeable nanoparticle crust can have catalytic properties to promote chemical reactions. For instance, a molecule A in water reacts to B, which moves then into the oil. This scheme of reaction and separation in a single step is very useful for the sustainable synthesis of specialty chemicals, biofuels or pharmaceuticals. Combined with our bicontinuous emulsion, it could lead to the development of new types of reactors operated in continuous flow-through mode.